Hi, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an Excel file for importing variable products to WooCommerce. So if you unfortunately need to manually create your file, you don't have an inventory management system or the data already available, I think Excel is the best way to do it. Uh, so this is how to create a file to store variable products. There are a lot of structures that you could use. WPL Import can import a file in pretty much any structure. Uh, but I'd recommend structuring it this way to keep it simple. So I have a column called product name, and this will just be my product name. Uh, I have a sh in this example, I have an adult WordPress t-shirt and kids WordPress t-shirts. Now the adult WordPress t-shirt has two variations. So I'll get back to why I added two records here in a second. So let's go product name, description, what a beautiful t-shirt. So there's our description. Then we'll set our price. Um, don't use currency symbols in the price. You can. WPL import can automatically fix them, but you may as well just do it right. It's better if you just don't put currency symbols there. Um, or let's say do regular price and sale price. And now we'll do the t-shirt has different colors. Let's see, I think the adult one is blue and gray. And it also has images. It also has an image, so. Okay, so here's what we've done here. We have created a variable product with two variations. Uh, each variation should have the exact same product title. That allows WPL import to group these together into a single variable product. You only need to put the description in once. WPL import will use the first description. You can, uh, that's, that's the description. You can put multiple prices in for variation. So let's say the gray one was more expensive for whatever reason. Um, you could have different prices. You can have different images for different variations. So our t-shirt's gonna have the attribute color. Let's say we also wanna have the attribute size. So let's say you can get the t-shirt in both small and large. So you have blue small, gray small, and now to have large as well, we just need to copy this and now have blue large and gray large. And this is the simplest way to store a variable product in an Excel file there is. So let's say we also have a kids t-shirt now. We'll do kids WordPress t-shirt. Let's say we're gonna have four variations of that as well. Um, And this shirt is available in, I believe, yellow and red. And we won't have we won't have size for this one, or we'll say we only have small. You could also leave size blank and not even in, import a size attribute for the kids shirt. In fact, for this example, let's do that. We'll just leave size blank. See what these image names are. You need to prefix them. Okay, so we have two variable products in this file now the adult t shirt and the kids t-shirt. These variations are going to be grouped together because the title is exactly the same. You could also do it. There are a lot of ways to do it. If you look at the video on importing CSV files, you can see all the different possible structures and we have example files as well. But if you're creating a file manually, I think this is the easiest way to do it. So now let's save it and we can't save it. We should say you should save it as an Excel file but you should also save it as a CSV file so WPL import can import it. 
So let's go with variations example. We'll call this variations example. So we'll save it as an Excel file so we can open it again in Excel and edit it later and it's easy. But we're also going to save it as a CSV file and that way we can import it with WPL import. WPL import can't do Excel files directly but since Excel exports to CSV it can do CSV files. So go variations example dot CSV. Excel is going to give us a warning saying this workbook may contain features that would be lost in CSV format. That's fine. WPL import doesn't need any of those, anything that a CSV can't store. Okay, so let's import that file with WPL import. So we go to variations example.csv, import it to new WooCommerce products, and it's found six rows in the file. Here they are, just like we had in Excel. Continue to step three, drag and drop to set the title the description and the WooCommerce add-on we choose variable product set the regular price the sale price the variations tab we just say all variations for a particular for a particular product have the same title there are no parent products and that's because we don't have a special if we had a special row in the file that didn't have any product information for example, or that only had product information but no variations, then we would choose this option, that there are parent products. But in our case, there are no parent products. All the variations have the same title. We'll set the title right here. That allows WPL import to group the variations together into a single variable product. We'll set up the attributes on the attributes tab. Let's go to color size, drag and drop to set the attributes. And there is no size attribute for the kids t-shirt, so its size will just be ignored for the second product, the kids t-shirt. Under images, I've already uploaded load, these images right here, just dragging and dropping to set the image URL. Preview, I already uploaded the images here. And that's all we need to do. Let's run the import. Auto detect the unique key. Continue, only importing two products. Images are already on the server, so this will just take a second. And here are our imported products. Okay, let's take a look at these on the front end. So here we go. The color, the size imported, and the kid shirt with only the color imported because we did not set the size attribute. And that is the simplest way to create an Excel file for importing variations to WooCommerce. Thanks for watching.